Hi guys, um, I just wanted to do a video, um, to at least let y'all know who the winners are and tell you guys what's going on, um, Lex, like you were just a little late and other people had already, you know, sent in, you know, asked first and so I get so um Caitlin you got the mystery mini and Dina um you got the summer tag and Jocelyn aka Nova Fox you got um the dog tags and um what else was it it's sitting over there oh the key cover and, um, Lex, you got two of the posters, and I have your other stuff. It came back in the mail. Um, I spelt something wrong, and they sent it all, all the way back. Like, it, it's just, that's why it took so long. Uh, um, but anyway... Um, congrats everybody. Um, you can probably tell, like, my eyes are puffy. Bad things have happened. Um. I mean, I might have mentioned it. We might have mentioned it in our videos before. Um. Like, um, my brother's friend, Joey. Sinclair, not Joey that's on the show, not Joey that's on here, that's another friend Joey, not Joey that you've seen, that's Joey Cracks, that's what we call him, um, but my other, br my brother's friend, other friend, Joey, um, we never really got along, but, um, he died. And my brother came back with my friend Joey, our friend Joey, and they went to the funeral. And my brother comes up and hugs me crying. And I'm like, it's okay, Michael. I'm just trying to comfort him. And then he says, Cassidy... JR's dead. And I said, what? And I may have not mentioned JR before, and I may have mentioned him in our Let's Plays. He is my ex. He was my first. He was my first r relationship. And even though things didn't end well, and I really did hate him for a really long time, but it's like you hate love somebody. And there was nothing I could do. Him and Joey... JR and Joey were best friends. Like, they knew each other before we met them. And... So, his death really affected him, apparently, and... He, um... overdosed on heroin. Joey died basically of the after effects of the heroin abuse he was doing. And, um, I've been crying on and off because it's like you're so angry at somebody when they break your heart and cheat on you. And it's on and off. And they literally, like, leave scars on your body because 
you got in one stupid fight after breaking up. And it's just hard right now. Because it's like even though I hated him, you know, when I was with him. Like, I did everything in my power to try and fix him. And you can't change somebody who doesn't want to be changed. Or who doesn't want to. And I had to leave at some point because I couldn't let him keep treating me like that. And... It just sucks because I thought maybe at one point he would grow up and we would get back together because we run with the same group of friends. Everybody knows each other around here. I mean, it's just we running into each other is inevitable. And I tried everything in my power to avoid him because I was so mad at him and I thought if I saw him it would just make me upset again or he would try to sneak his little way back in and I didn't want to go through the same thing again and again and again and it's like I'm in this weird place of like remembering good things but also remembering bad things And it's just hard for me right now. Um, I didn't know how else to like tell y'all this. And it's bad enough because I can't remember if we mentioned it in our one of our first or second unboxing videos, but Around this time last year, one of our friends killed themselves. Because they got, because they were doing dope, and they went to jail, and they didn't want to do the time. So they killed themselves in the jail cell. This was like two months before Markiplier's friend did what he did. It's just like, me and my brother have had a lot of friends die in the past year. And it's not just from heroin. We've had friends shot for no good reason. We've had friends run over by cars. Um, a lot of it's dumb stuff. Another friend of my brother's committed suicide. It's just... Everyone is like dying around us, and there's nothing we can do. And there's a lot of other friends we know that are still like, even with people dying, they're all not gonna stop doing dope. They'll, they'll never stop. You can be mad at the drug dealer all you want, but goddamn, they're going. I mean, I just don't know what else to say. Like, it's just a really weird time, and I might sound like I'm talking about one thing and then switching to another, but I do that when I'm really, really, really upset. Um, like, I hate to tell y'all good news about you winning stuff and then tell you this, but like, I felt like I had to just tell y'all what was going on because it's it's just something you can't believe and the funeral I don't even know I don't know if I'm going to go I don't know if
you know, I'm allowed to go because, like I said, our relationship did not end the best way. And so, it's like I've hated him for so long and just avoided him so I don't have to feel any feelings and then now he's gone. And so I'm just in, I'm just still in this weird place of dealing with things. And, um, it's just a lot right now. It's like every time I know it seems like there's something going on with us, like some sort of drama. And I hate that for y'all, but I mean, that's what's going on. And I can do nothing but be real with you guys, because... A lot of you are really supportive, and I love y'all, and I just hope y'all have, like, a way better life and week than I have, because it's just hard being surrounded by death, like, it's fucking Attack on Titan, like, for real. It's not fun. It's really not. My brother said he's just so tired of everybody dying around him. And I have a feeling this is not going to be the last time I make a video like this. Because I know so many more people who... It's just like we... It's like we almost jinxed it. Me and my brother were talking about it the night he found out Joey died. He said... I don't even know... We were talking about who's next. And we said JR is going to be next. Our other friend Briars are going to be next. And I know this. I'm not stupid. But, um. I hate to be all emotional like this because I'm not usually like this, but. Um. Anyway, um, I hate to just end the video, but I really don't know what else to say, but, um, I love you guys, and just give us a little time to, like, get stuff together, and, I mean, we'll probably be okay within about a week or so, but we're just gonna need some time right now to like get our heads right because you know not only that Michael's work schedule's changed again and mine's getting busier so it, it's just it's just a lot right now and we need a little time to get stuff together so I love you guys and hope y'all have a good day bye